Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We finished off the left side last time, so let's start on the right. Again, I'm still looking for uh, some more of the Mother D Reaper. And O2s would be good. Other than that, just completing this set would be nice. Starting off, we got an Andromon, Cubimon, Locomon, High Speed Plugin D, Creep Hands, Horn Striker, Offensive Plugin A. We got a Searcher, so that's good. I'm going to imagine that these are going to be a little more valuable than the other ones because you can have up to 50 copies in a deck. Gigimon, or Gigimon, Kazu, we got Ryo, he's a three play cost, on play reveal four cards from the top of your deck, add one card with Dramon or Justimon in its name among them to your hand, place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order, your turn, when you attack a, with a black Digimon, you may suspend this tamer to have that Digimon gain plus 1000 DP until the end of your turn. Or until the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, security effect, play this card without paying its memory cost. Again, like, this is really going for a Justamon deck, but because it does specifically say uh, Dramon, that means it could be used in other decks. Uh, like Machine Dramon, it could definitely be put in one of those. So you still could get some use out of it uh, from that. So it's not entirely limited to just uh, just a Mon deck. And for our other, we got another Reaper. All right. Uh, 20 play cost, 15,000 uh, DP. When you would play this Digimon, you may trash seven or more card or more Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your mother D Reapers to reduce this Digimon's play cost to zero. Uh, rush, this Digimon can attack the turn it comes into play. And when attacking, you may place up to two ADR-02 Searchers from your trash under this Digimon in any order as its Digivolution cards to unsuspend this Digimon. I mean, yeah, I, I like it. Like I said, I want to build a deck with this. We still need to get one more of the Mothers to really cement it. Because you want four of them. In a deck. Three of them is alright, but you really just want to have four. We got Lotmon, Growlmon, Strike Dramon, Bubbles. Digivolution Plugin S, Pendulum Feet, Cesaramon, another Creep Hands, Xiaomon, Talmon, another Rio. We just read him, so I'm not going to read him again. And we got the alternate art Sakuyamon. Yo, that is very nice looking. So she's a 12 play cost, a 3 Digivolution cost, 11,000 DP. When Digivolving, unsuspend one of your Digimon. And for each Tamer you have in play, return one option card with plug-in in its name from its trash to your hand. Your turn, when you would use an option card with a cost of 2 or more, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn. Again, it's working with the Renamon playstyle that we have seen thus far. Uh, in this set, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really liking the alternate art for this. Like the textured back is pretty neat. Very cool. Did we pull the original one or the, yes, we did pull, I thought we pulled the other one. So just real quick, just looking at them side by side. Very neat. So 
So in the other box, we pulled three alternate arts. We've only pulled one in this one so far. So in theory, we could pull two more. Another Strike Dramon. Mephistomon. Ground Locomon, which used to be Grand. Wish they would put it back to Grand. Uh, Gargomon. Ice Devamon. Pendulum Feet. Optimizer. Cesarmon. Kenta. Parasite Mon. We got another Imp Mon. Three play costs, zero digivolution costs. When this card is trashed from your deck, uh, if it wasn't trashed by a different copy of this card's effect, you may trash up to three cards from the top of your deck. On play, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card with Beelzemon in its name and one I and Mako among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. A security or inherited effect. Your turn, while this Digimon has Beelzemon in its name, it gets plus 3,000 DP. Again, really just for the Beelzemon. Can't uh, say much else about it. And we got uh, Antilo Antilomon. Ugh. Antilomon. Seven play costs, three Digivolution costs, 7,000 DP. If you have a Shu Chong Wong in play, your Lotmon can Digivolve into this card in your hand for Digivolution cost of three, ignoring its Digivolution requirements. Uh, when attacking once per turn, you may trash the top card of your security stack to unsuspend the Sigimon. Again, this is going for like in a Lotmon kind of play style, but I don't think there's enough for... Uh, just a pure Lopmon deck. I might be wrong. Um, but you'd have to play Shu Chang Wong to really capitalize on this card. And I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, if we come across another one, I will take a quick look to see what I think of it. And this is the fourth pack. Starting off with a Devidramon, Lotmon, Graumon, Gorillamon, Fist of the Beast King, Bubbles, Gatekeeper, Digivolution Plugin S, Death Slinger, War Graumon, Henry Wong. He's a four play cost. Start of your turn if you have two memory or less. Set your memory to three. Your turn, when you attack with the Digimon with Gargumon or Rapidmon in its name, you may suspend this Tamer to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Security effect, play this card without paying its memory cost. I mean, again, this is made for a Terriermon deck to get the full effect. Um, that said, uh, like, yeah, I can't... I'm trying to think if you could put this in a normal deck. I don't think you could. Because really you'd only be using the start of your turn effect. Um, whereas a second effect really works with green, but could really only work uh, in a deck designed around Terriermon, uh, Gargomon, and Rapidmon type things. So yeah, uh, outside of that, I don't think this is a very good tamer. And then... We got the alternate art Mega Gargamon. Okay. So this is a 12 play cost, a 5 Digivolution cost, 13,000 DP. When Digivolving for each green tamer you have in play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, they don't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. And when attacking once per turn, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP to its owner's hand. I mean, again... Really going to be good in a dedicated deck for this. Uh, I believe we also pulled a normal one in the other box. We did, This is actually, it looks like the normal art. This is not the alt art. I was mistaken. This is just the normal art. I was... 
I was mistaken because usually when they break through this border, it means they're an alt art. For a second, I thought this was like a wild video where we got two alt arts in one video. But that's not the case. We just got the one. This is the normal. This is probably one of the better normals, I think. I like the ones where they're exploding out of the edge. So with that, we have finished the first four. We've got eight more packs to go. So join us next time and we'll uh, take a look at those. If you have any ideas that you want to see or if you have any deck ideas that you want me to try and build, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. It really does help. And until then, I will see you next time.